What's up guys? It's been What is up guys? It's been a while since we've seen each other. If you're new here, uh, welcome to the channel. If you've seen my videos before, if it's Spider-Man related, you've probably seen me from the time I reviewed the RPC Studio costume. Baby. There's full movement in this thing. Like you can do whatever you want. Or the time I reviewed the real life working web shooter. Web shoot. Okay. Seems I have a hold of the bin. <laughs> and then actually, it's got a pretty good strength for what it is. This time I've got another Spider-Man thing for you. As you may have seen from the title or even like in the thumbnail. <laughs> so this is the Cavern Creations on Instagram and Facebook face shell and moving mechanical lenses. Uh, I'm gonna be going through everything that I wish I knew when I bought it and all my thoughts and everything about it that, that, that I thought of when I got this thing. And hopefully it clears up any questions if you were gonna buy it or not and Let's, let's just jump right into it. So your first question might be, how does it compare to other face shells in terms of looks, the coloring, and I've got a little comparison here for you. This is my RPC Studio mask. So this is made to match my almost movie grade costume that came by then. And that's it there. This is made out of foam. So you can actually heat weld it to your face to make it match. Look at that. It's pretty high quality for foam. And then it's got the holes for breathing. You've got the lenses that come out so you can interchange them with other lenses. Pretty high quality of these as well. Magnets. And that's the face shell there. And you've got a bit of foam to hold it onto your head. This and this. I've got to say this is a lot lighter. Obviously, this has a bunch of mechanics in it and it's going to be a bit heavier. It's 3D printed rather than the foam. It is mostly plastic and then a bit of filling. You can see where the two bits of 3D print meet here. But I really like the shape of this one compared to my other one. It's a little bit less breathable, but a lot less fog. A lot less fog just because there's so many openings for air to come through. You don't get moist in there. Moist in there. And I don't know, like overall, fits my head a lot better as well. I've got 3D printed pieces for the eyes. And then in terms of the mechanics, the first thing you need to know is it only works with one kind of battery, which is you need the exact specs, otherwise it won't work. Which is this here. I don't know if I'll, let's refocus. But if your batteries aren't exactly these specs, it won't work. And I would be worried about damaging the mechanics in it as well. Um, the battery so far has been very long lasting. I bought a pack of five and I haven't ran out of my first two yet. So you pop that in, you've got a battery pack here a light switch, a battery switch I mean, when you switch it, it'll turn on. I'm not going to show too much of the mechanics because uh, I'm worried about other people copying what he's done. But, to long story short, it's four rotary mo motors and then you've got the rotary motors holding the eyelids, the top and bottom. And then you've got a switch on the side to change the mode. He's programmed it. You see there's like a USB entryway in there, which you don't have to worry about. He's already programmed it and everything. You've got a bit of foam there so it doesn't catch onto your hair or anything, but I would wear a wig net if you had really long hair. That's pretty cool. So that's all the wiring and stuff in there. It's surprisingly a lot more breathable than you'd think. And there's the, there's the detailing, the 3D print eyes looks really good this is the difference in terms of color if you're playing to match 
your RPC studio with this uh, face, head even. It's a little bit more red. It's not overly noticeable, but there's a little bit of a difference. And the actual webbing itself is a bit thicker. Uh, there's a little switch where the mouth is. You touch it with your mouth. Um, it's not a hard press, and that's how you can control it. And then again, the switch changes the modes. There's two different modes. It's a little bit loud. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear me. <laughs> but... I like how the jaw is cut. You can sort of... So... Instead of... Instead of squinting, I can do this. So I can look ultra skeptical. Like I'm looking at something, and then go back to normal. I think this will be really cool for conventions, blow some kids' minds. But, um, So this is the one I had before it, the RPC Studios one, to match my outfit. It's a little bit less of a red, more of a natural red. It's terrifying without the lenses in it. And it's kind of hard to see through it actually, if I'm going to be honest. I was actually thinking about cutting wider holes in this, but now that I've got a new mask, I don't really need to think about it. And this one here... I like it. I like the whole outfit, but yeah, you can really tell that there's actually something over my face where the other one had much more of a natural finish. Um, I have a feeling these things are going to be a lot more popular since we had such a good year with Spider-Man stuff. We had Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. We had the Spider-Man Insomniac video game, which has an ultra cool suit. Um, and then we're having another movie coming out soon. And then we had Venom. So I think I'm going to keep reviewing uh, people's Spider-Man inventions that they put online, like on Etsy and stuff like that. I've got another one for another web shooter coming up soon, the ones where you put a butane gas in it and it shoots out. When that arrives, I'll make another video for that. But if you're interested in these kinds of videos, press subscribe and stick around. I'm actually super tired from wearing these masks. It's almost like uh, it's depriving you from oxygen. Um, but I'll see you guys next time when I decide to make another video. Hopefully this one didn't take as long to watch than the other ones. Um, while you're here, I'll show you something pretty cool and then, and then uh, goodbye, I guess. <laughs>